Hi, today we're going to be making llamas using recycled materials. And since this week is art around the world, we're going to be um, thinking about North and South America when we're thinking about our llamas. Okay, so some things that we're going to need to use to make our llamas are um, paper tubes. Okay, we're going to need a pair of scissors. We're going to need a marker. Okay, um, for the details. And we're going to need a recycled box. We're going to want to cut a piece of cardboard from that recycled box, about that big, about the length of the box. And um, if you want your llama to be a color, you're gonna to wanna to paint it before you get started. So the tube, you're gonna to wanna to paint the outside of the tube and maybe just a little bit of the inside of the tube. And then for the strip of cardboard, you're gonna to wanna to paint both sides, so the front, and the back because the llamas are kind of 3D and you're going to be able to see the um, llamas from all sides. So it is also okay to just use the recycled materials as they are. Like this llama was made without painting anything and it still looks great. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is paint if you want to have your uh, llama be a color and if you're going to paint you're going to need to paint both sides of your recycled cardboard so what I do is I cut open the box smooth it open and then um, paint both sides of it and um, then we're ready to go so I start with pencil I'm going to be using marker so you can see what I'm doing uh, the first thing we want to trace is the neck and the head of the llama so you're going to want to measure about the length of the inside of your um, pointer finger um, from the bottom of one part of the box that you've either painted or are going to use natural and just put a little mark there so you know how tall you want that llama's head to be. Then <clears throat> we're going to start by making a rectangle that's on just a little bit of a slant like that and that will be the llama's nose. Then we're going to come up and do two llama ears like this and come all the way down to the bottom for that llama's long neck. Okay, then we're gonna draw a big llama eye right up here at the top, okay? And then we're going to add um, just some marking for the llama's fur coming down the neck a little bit like this. Okay, and then <clears throat> we're gonna cut that out. Then next, I've already folded part of my um, painted cardboard in half, and the legs are kind of um, upside down U shapes like this, okay? Half an oval with another half of an oval inside. Okay, so fold it in half so that you cut two that are the same so that your llama will stand for you. Okay, so I'm going to draw my upside down U like this. And then I'm going to make it like I'm drawing a bubble U inside like that. So it's kind of like a rainbow maybe shape. Then leaving it folded so that I get my two that are pretty much the same. I'm going to cut those two out while my cardboard is folded. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to cut out the inside like this. Alright, and then I have my two leg shapes. Alright, that are somewhat identical. Okay. Then <clears throat> let's turn the llama's um, head and neck over to the other side because we want it to be um, able to be seen from both sides. We're gonna add the eye and then little bits of fur all the way down. Okay. Then <clears throat> I'm gonna want to think about maybe putting a little blanket on my llama, okay? So um, I'm going to find the paper tube that I'm going to use, uh, whether it's painted or not, and I'm going to just draw my little blanket shape like this. Okay, and then you can decorate that blanket if you want to, or just leave it plain. All right, so I like to put the legs on first so that um, I know how my llama's gonna stand. All right, so putting the legs on, we are gonna squash the little tube here at the bottom just a little bit, 
and I'm going to cut towards the back, kind of. And it will squash the tube a little bit, but not too much. <clears throat> it's going to be about the length of your thumbnail, one. And then move up here towards the front. And again, kind of about the length of my thumbnail, I'm going to cut another little slot. Okay, then let's make it nice and round again. Then those legs, I'm going to find kind of where the top of that arc is. And you are going to have to wiggle it kind of back and forth a little bit. Put one in one slot and one in the other slot like that. Okay. And hopefully your mama will stand up for you. And it does. That's pretty good. Okay. Then you're going to want to um, think about the front and where you're going to place it. So I like to, while my llama's standing up, so I know where the front is, maybe just make a little mark here towards where I'm going to want the head to stick in. Okay, and at the front then, I'm going to cut a slot, not too long again, maybe about the length of my thumbnail. Okay, and I'm going to stick the head in that slot. We go back and forth a little bit. And then you have your llama who should stand up for you. Okay, um, some people like to add a little tail on the back. If you want to add a little tail, you can just cut a piece out of the leftover cardboard and either glue it to the inside or the outside. And your llama's done. So have fun, be creative.